All right, so in this video, we're gonna incorporate query function with a couple of drop-down validation lists, and I'll show you how you can make it happen. So this is a little bit of data. You can have more or less, it's really up to you at that point. So I'm gonna just add a worksheet here. I'll call this one report. That should be good enough. This is where we're gonna run our set up basically. So I need a couple of drop down validation lists. I'll make one for a region and another one for sales rep. And before I do that, I'll make one more tab and I'll call this one validation. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna basically get a unique list out of here and another unique list out of this sales rep column. So I'll go back here basically skip the first row here and run unique function and go to my data and select starting from the second row and down, remove the end reference, close parentheses, hit enter. That should give me a list of regions. I'll do another unique function here, go to that same data tab, select a little bit here, uncheck the last row reference ending, close this, hit enter. That gives me a nice list of my reps. If you want these sorted in some sort of alphabetical order, you can also just go ahead and sort the list by wrapping this entire thing inside of a sort function, something like this. Same thing we could do for this one, so sort that I have my lists. And the reason I left this row on top open is that I wanna have an option for all regions and all sales reps in my dropdown. So I'll do all regions, basically just manually type that and all reps, something like this. I'll just make it bold to make it look nice, but it really doesn't matter. It's just gonna be one of the options of our dropdown here. So now that I have this two lists for my validation, I'll go to my report and just do something like region here, wrap here, and right below them for region, I'm gonna go under data, go to data validation, and that will be a list from a range. Here I have to select the range, so I'm gonna click on this little, whatever this thing is, and go to validation, and to make this easy for me for future updates, I'm just gonna select this whole column A. Hit okay, and reject all the other input. Go ahead and hit save. So that's the first dropdown validation that gives me whatever's in that column. Now I'm gonna do another one for this one. So data, data validation, again, list from range, kind of repeat this whole thing click here, go back to this, only this time we're gonna select the B column, hit okay, reject all the other inputs, save. So in my report now I have my two drop downs. Now let's run a pretty standard query function from this data tab and just filter it to let's say Midwest and Jose. So I'll go back here and do equals the function and the first argument here is the range of the data. I'm gonna go to data, select with headers a little bit like this, remove the end row reference to send this all the way down, comma, and then I need the select statement. So for now, I'll just do select star, that will be all columns, and then I'll do a filter, so I'll say where the region column is B, so where B equals to Midwest. And by the way, I have to use single quotes here because we already have double quotes for our string. So that's Midwest. And I wanna make sure the C column equals to, well, whatever that is going to be. So that's the name. And then I'll do double quotes here to close the select statement, which is the string that started in here. 
And then finally, we need the last argument here, which is the number of header rows. So it's just one header row on top, close that, hit enter, and that should basically give me all the matches. Now, one thing to note here is that if I type Midwest like this in a lowercase m, see, I get no returns because this is case sensitive. We might want to make sure we don't do this as case sensitive match. So one way we could achieve that, we could just wrap this whole B column in lower function to make it lowercase and then also make whatever's in here in lowercase. And now if I enter, see, I still get that return. I'm gonna do that same type of thing for my salespeople. So I'll do lowercase for column C, which is the values in a column, and then do lowercase for the actual value that we're looking for. So now that we have this all set, we don't want this to be all hard-coded in this formula. Basically, we want to be able to replace this part that says Midwest with whatever is selected in here. And we want to grab whatever selected in this column and kind of just filter to that and give the results. So what we need to do, we need to dynamically basically just create this string. Now, I'm gonna just build this piece by piece. So the first thing I have to do, I have to make sure when this is selected as all regions, it's just not filtering to anything. And then if it is selected to something, that should give us the filter. So I'll just keep this as is. Right now, I'll leave this alone, I'll come back to that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just make a couple of if statements here on top. So I'm gonna say if this equals to, and that's all regions, comma, then we wanna just keep it basically blank. So I'm gonna do double quotes, comma. Otherwise, I'm gonna give it text. I'm gonna say and, and I'll probably add an extra space here, and the region column, I think it was B, so B, and we decided to make it like this, so lower B equals to lower, again, that lower case, now word should be in single quotes, so there's a single quote, so this is where we usually have that like Midwest or whatever is supposed to be in here. And to get that, I'm gonna close the quotation here for this string that was started in this left side of this, and I'm gonna concatenate with an ampersand whatever's in this cell, and then after that, I'm gonna concatenate again because that's just gonna be the region itself, like Midwest. Now, after the region, we're gonna go back to those double quotes again and close the single code for that region text and close parentheses for this lower function. I'm also gonna add an extra space here and do a quotation. So close my if function, hit enter. So right now you can see my if function returns a blank cell, but if I go back here and basically select one of these, like south, see it gives me and lower b equals lower south. Now I need to make sure that that column was correct. So yeah, that was b column, good. So that's good for this. So now if I check to Midwest, this will do this, but if I go to all regions, it will just be blank. That's good, I'm gonna basically just copy this, hit escape, paste this right below, and do the same sort of thing, but I'm gonna change it for the wrap. So I'm gonna say if it's all wraps, I think that's what I called it, then I'm gonna leave it blank. Otherwise, I'm gonna take, I think it was column C now, and we're gonna take the lowercase text from that B2 cell. So now if I hit enter, it's gonna say basically this, let me just take this formatting off, it's gonna say end lower C basically equals that, and if I go back to grace, that's grace, if I go back to all reps, that's not what we're looking for, let's go back, oh, 
we need to check this is not in A2, but B2. So this should have been B2. So see, now all reps, it's blank. If I change to Grace, that's gonna give me this. If I change to Jennifer, that gives me this. So now I have two if statements. Let me change this one to something else too so we can see those outputs. So what I could do now, I could kind of join these two if statements together. Just go back in here, copy this if statement without the equal sign, hit escape. Go back to this if statement on top and just join the second one with an ampersand, with a concatenation, the second if statement right after that, the one below. I'm gonna hit enter and what it's gonna give me is this. It's basically giving me this and lower and I don't need this anymore. So it's basically the Midwest filter and the Jennifer filter. Now what's gonna happen if we change this to all regions, see it removes that filter because we kept it blank in this case. And if we go to like Northeast, that will come back. And the same type of thing is gonna happen here. If I do all wraps, all of those are gone. If I do Isabella, basically just plug that back in. If all of them are all wraps, it will basically, all regions again, it will basically just be blank. So that's that part of this. I'm gonna just bring this back to something that we can see what's going on here. So that's that. Now, if we look in our original statement here, we basically said select star where lower B equals this and lower C equals this. And this is a little different in a way that there is an extra and. And I did that and on purpose because I'm going to need that one. And the reason I want to have that is because I want to have the option when both of them are unselected. So if both of them are blank, basically we're gonna end up having this whole string is gone and we'll have the whole where statement still in there. And if I had enter right now, this is not a valid statement, so it will just break down. So we wanna make sure this works. So we need this where statement in here, but we don't want this to filter to anything. So what we can do, we can do this little trick here. We can do where one equals one, which is always true. So that will basically just give us the whole data set from the tab here, because one is always equal to one. And to this, we can always tag along that and stuff with an and lower B is this and that is this. And now if I had enter, that will filter this to, well, it was Midwest here and Jose in here, right? So that works well. So now this part, this and and this, is pretty much what I have here on top. And I can replace it with my formula. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go here, grab this entire if function, not including the equal sign, copy that, hit escape, go back to this formula, remove everything after this one equals one, which gives me basically everything if I don't continue with anything else but I am going to continue by pasting after the space, my if function concatenated here. So ampersand right after the quotation is closed and paste that entire if function right there. I'm gonna hit enter and we can see this is basically now Edward Midwest because that's what's selected on top there. I don't really need to keep this on top. I'm gonna remove that and let's see how this is gonna work. Let's make this a little smaller. So that's good. So now if I change this to Northeast, you'll see it's Northeast AdWord results. Apparently there is just one. Let's find something that there are a couple of results at least. So for example, if I do West, uh, let's see, West. Do we have multiple for West? Well, not that I can't see, but if we do this one, see that should be at least two of them. So let's do that. So I'm gonna do lands. So I'll go here and find that. And there it is. We get all the results for Northeast for lands. Now, if I change this to Midwest, apparently there's nothing. If I change to West, apparently there's nothing too. Now, if I go to all regions, it will just give us all of it. So apparently there's South. 
Now, if I go to self, see, that will give us self. Now, if I change this to all wraps, then it will give us all wraps and just self here. And if I change this to all regions, it will be the whole data because basically it's that one equals one scenario. And this way we can have our dropdowns and we can filter our data set based on what's selected here. And we can also have like this all options located on top. And that's pretty much all I wanted to cover here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.